In this lecture, we will see the step-by-step -step process of editing an interview podcast. If you are already familiar with podcast editing, this is the lecture you need to watch carefully. People either make mistakes in this process or do not clearly understand the process. I recommend you try the things I show in the video. You watch some part, try that on your audio and watch the next part and try and so on. I have both tracks in Audacity. The first thing is to make sure the sync lock is on. If I click inside any of the tracks, I can see the lock appears. That means the sync lock is on, and I can move forward to the next things. The process of editing the host and guest track is the same. At the bottom track, you can see some red lines. Red lines mean some clipping happened there. The top track has no such clipping, but the bottom track has. When you are editing podcasts, especially interview podcasts, you have to think about the clipping a bit differently. For podcasts, clipping does not mean as bad as it is on professional voiceover or audiobook narration. If you can get good audio, a little bit of clipping here and there is not a big issue. Also, clipping does not always mean distortion. For example, mouth clicks can have high amplitude and show a clipping, but it is not a distorted sound. Similarly, some loud words can show clipping, but will not feel that much distorted. So what I am going to do now is to check these red lines and listen to what is there. Here the red line is a cough. I will decrease the volume level while playing this. <coughs> the solution in this case is very simple, I will silence that part as he was not talking there. It will now feel like a clean recording. And so suddenly they think they are far from the coastline of Chile and instead... The next red line is where the host says, how? How they ended up. How they ended up. How they ended up. It is not problematic and can be left that way. Here is a bunch of red lines, but don't worry. It is just a bit of laughter. A lot of ins and outs of the yeah, we're, stories. We're, that we, we're missing, we're missing out yeah, chunks we, here. We're going to have to skip over. This can be kept as it is. Another red line here, which is a mouth click. Um, what was it called? Not the Belgravia. Um, um, mouth click can be silenced by selecting that. So if your audio has some clipping after recording, check what those are. You can silence the things that are not necessary and keep other things as it is. You should be careful about how much new clipping is introduced after all the processing is done. With the interview podcast, there can be some new clipping after final processing. Especially where both people talked and talked louder. We will tackle those when the issue comes. In most cases, if you can apply the proper effects with the correct configuration, it will not be much of a problem. I hope you got my point about clipping. If you see some red lines after recording, don't panic. Check those, and you will be fine in most cases. Make sure the show clipping option is on in your Audacity. It is on the view menu and by default, it is off. I can now start adding effects, or I can remove some parts that I do not want in the podcast. You can also remove such parts later after adding the audio effects. I already know some parts that I do not want to include, so I will remove those. In the beginning, I had some parts where the host and guest discussed what would be in the podcast. I have selected those parts in the bottom track, and I will delete them. The top track also has no important part in this selection, so it is safe to delete. I will now listen to the beginning of the podcast and remove some parts if I feel it is not necessary. Hello and welcome to Subject to Change with me, Russell Hogg. My guest today, my guest today is David. My guest today is David Gran. David is an investigative reporter. David is an investigative David is an investigative reporter, a writer for the New Yorker, and an author. Probably the best known of his books is Killers of the Flower Moon, which was recently made into a movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, and it's directed by Martin Scorsese. Uh, but today we're going to talk about his latest book, which is The Wager, a tale of shipwreck. Uh, but today, but today we're going to talk. Easy. But today we're going to talk about his latest book, which is *The Wager*, a tale of shipwreck, mutiny, and murder, which tells the absolute. I will stop removing the audio now and start adding effects. I can remove unnecessary parts after I am done with adding effects. I will add effects on the top track first and then on the bottom track. 
Please keep in mind that it is important to add effects on the tracks separately. Different tracks may require different configurations. Unless you have become a master of this editing process, please do not apply effects on both tracks at the same time. In most cases, you will apply the same settings, still, it is important to apply effects separately. You will understand why as we move forward in the editing process. I will select the top track by double-clicking inside it. I will normalize it first. For normalization, I will use a minus 3 dB peak. Normalize is a way to control the volume of the audio. This meter is a very important part of the editing process. It starts from minus 60 and ends in zero. It represents the loudness of the audio. Zero is the maximum volume level of the audio. The more negative a value is, the quieter the sound will be. For example, minus 15 is more negative than minus 3. That means if a sound just reaches minus 15, it will be quieter than the sounds that reach minus 3. In other words, the minus 3 dB sound will be louder than the minus 15 dB sound. You may already know this, but I am making sure you are familiar with this concept. If you do not understand which sound is louder from this meter reading, you will not understand the audio editing process in Audacity. Normalization sets the maximum loudness of an audio. If I set minus 3 dB as the peak amplitude, the maximum loud this audio can be is minus 3 in the meter. The remaining space here is called the headroom for the audio. I am keeping this headroom so the next processing can be done without any clipping. It is just a way to be safe. You do not have to understand all the nitty gritty technical details but know that minus 3 dB normalization is a safe option. After you normalize, the waveforms can either grow or shrink. If the audio loudness were more than minus 3 dB before normalize, it would shrink. If it were less than minus 3 dB before normalize, it would grow after normalize. It does not matter if it grows or shrinks, so apply a minus 3 dB normalize. I want you not to worry about podcast editing after this course, so I am discussing these details. The first effect to add is done and now the next effect. It will be an EQ, select everything inside the track and go to filter curve EQ. The purpose of EQ is very subtle. There can be some audio frequencies where noise can exist but no voice. Through EQ we can reduce such kind of noise. It is not guaranteed that you will have such noise. If such noise exists, an EQ can lessen that noise. EQ can also make the sound different. To keep this video simple, I will only focus on the noise part of the EQ. From factory presets, go to the low roll-off for speech. Drag those little dots to start rolling off from 80 Hz. This line is 100 Hz, and two lines before it is 80 Hz. The fundamental frequency of the human voice starts at 80 Hz or more. So if I roll off below 80 Hz, no voice part will be affected. Some noise can exist in low frequencies below 80 Hz. If your audio has such noise, it will be reduced. If no such noise is in your audio, no problem. Your audio will be as it is. It is a good practice to add this EQ. So far I have applied two effects on this track. The first one is normalize and the second one is EQ. Now I will add the third effect which is the most important effect. If you have watched so far on YouTube, this is a free preview of my step-by-step -step Audacity course. The course started with every detail of the editing technique for interview podcasts. Eventually, it will have solo podcast editing tips and other podcast-related features. The current price is based on interview podcast editing. When I add solo podcast editing, the price will increase. As a bonus, you will get one-click podcast improve macros. You will be able to improve your interview podcasts without any complex editing process. With those macros, the audio will be ready to upload on any podcast platform. The course link will be in the description. If you are into podcasts, I encourage you to enroll in the course.